you going guys out here today we um, got to change some wheel bearings on the boat trailer so yeah when we uh, bought the boat they uh, told us the bearings had just been done see in there she she hasn't seen grease or anything for quite a while it's a bit, uh, Friday night. With the sultans, with the sultans of swing. Our uh, stay so it's a 380 watts. So she'll um she'll be going on the back of the trailer with us. We don't give a damn about any trumpet playing band. It ain't what they call rock and roll Then the Sultans Yeah, the Sultans that play Creole Creole Yeah, they packed the boat into um, 32 ounce engineering so he's, uh, He needs it for measurements on the fabrication on the trailer so, uh, yeah, when I brought it over to the bus, I was pretty much uh, dragging it the whole way, she was squealing. Um, you can see here that it doesn't even turn. So yeah, we ripped the hubs off, changed the bearings. Had to pick the bloody hottest day to come out of the stinker. But uh, yeah, job's still got to go on. So yeah, the first thing you do is uh, slide your jack under. And just touch the axle and then uh, loosen your nuts off on your wheel jack her up a bit take your nuts off rip your wheel off you see I've uh, put the nuts in a nice little spot there so I don't lose them and now we'll uh, rip the hub off got a pair of um, adjustable grips gonna use this to the cap off, the bearing cap off. The next step is to get the clip off and uh, loosen this, take this nut off. Just taking the nut off now. in a spot where I don't lose it. Sometimes I just pull straight off. This one's gonna need just a little tap to help it off. So yeah, when we uh, bought the boat, they uh, told us the bearings had just been done. Yeah, you can See in there, she, she hasn't seen grease or anything for quite a while. It's a bit uh, dry and rusted in there. The salt water's got in there. Rusted it out. So yeah, got some degrees here. Just gonna um, give it a bit of a degrease. And then I'll be able to um, just give the surface a bit of a, a sand up. Right here, I'm gonna give it a bit of a clean up. So, yeah, I've had to bend off the bearing case. There's all the bearings on the ground there, and now I'm left with the bearing housing on there. It's uh, jammed on there. So, the best way to do it now is to either oxy it off or get a hacksaw and cut a little groove in it which will um, release some of the pressure and you better knock it off that way um, or you can heat it up which will uh, expand the metal and make it easier to knock off so there's a few options um, or you could use a um, bearing puller um, so yeah the bearing got jammed halfway 
when I was trying to tap it off. So I've got a bearing puller on out. Bit of an overkill one. That's what you get when you have your diesel mechanic. Don't really have anything smaller. But uh, hopefully it will do the trick. Too big, I think. <laughs> Can't get a bearing off like that one. Just get the angle grinder out, cut a little slit out, and then we'll uh, just smash off the old bearing off. And we've uh, used a bit of 800 wet and dry to clean the surface. Now I'm going to smear a bit of Grease all over it. So you got your water seal here. The hub a bit of a clean. You can see it's a bit crappy inside there. I just gave that bearing surface in there a bit of a rub with the wet and dry. Just get rid of any rust. Look at that. The surfaces look a bit better in there. Bearing in there, new seal in there. Now I'm just getting the other bearing. Put my nut back on now. Starts firm and just back off of it. Take the pin in. So. Save the pin from trying to come out and uh, box the nut into that position. Please. 
Five little spins now. Finish it off. Rather than putting the standard cap back on, went and bought a bearing buddy. Grayson for it. That goes on. Goes on like so. Got a cap here. It'll probably fall off, no doubt. Put a little bit of grease on it, it'll act, act as a bit of suction so it won't come off. But yeah, now I just put my grease gun on here. Pump her up full of grease. Happy days. It's down here. So it's easy sticking it on the grease nipple. So you can see we've got the bearing buddy on there. The new bearings are in there. And before I put the wheels back on, I just put a couple of dubs of grease on the studs. Makes life easier next time you get them off. But yeah, with the bearing buddies on there. This comes off. That's, a, that's actually um, a spring actuated uh, pressure pressure cap, I suppose. So when you fill it full of grease, the spring's actually um, putting pressure on the grease. So the grease will as the grease burns out or wears out, drips out, whatever it's going to be, um, the spring will actually push new grease back into the bearing. So as long as you um, give it a couple of pumps after each time you come come back, the um, bearing should last heaps longer. So you have uh, put the wheel nuts on, now I'll just put a load of boat onto the ground and then I can tighten them up uh, with proper tension. you're tightening the uh, wheel nuts you should go from start here to opposite this one opposite this one just to spread the weight a bit more we'll jack it back up you remember um when we first started couldn't even move the wheel so um see how she goes now look at that beautiful Stinking day, and I decided to change wheel bearings. Eh? 